Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in on this video. So to start this video I'll start with a little banner from Inventables to thank them for sending me this X-Carve. So I got this X-Carve for free to be able to make some videos for you guys using this incredible machine. So I've picked the 1 meter on 1 meter machine, so this is the biggest one and it costs around 1.4 thousand uh, dollars. So this is quite a cheap machine uh, to do some CNC milling. The machine is 2.5D but I will be able to go to 3D if I make some changes and um, you can find some more information on their YouTube channel about how to build a machine and some projects of other builders. So you have, um, I like to make stuff, they rest and so on are using them. Mostly woodworkers, I'll be trying to do more composite works like carbon fiber uh, milling and so on on this machine. So on their websites and uh, YouTube channel, you can find a manual on how to put everything together. So it's very well put together with videos and a written tutorial. So I mostly went for the written tutorial and then went to the videos to assemble everything. So you will have to assemble everything from start till finish. Uh, it might be a bit terrifying when you see all the parts and so on, but it's very easy to follow um, every step by step. So this is the first part of the assembly. So this is the X axis if I'm correct. Um, and you will have to put all the bolts and so on together so it will take you some time but it can be very rewarding to do like a project like this so you can compare it by assembling uh, an IKEA closet uh, or little chair or something like this it's very easy to follow so the biggest part of this video will be more like a time-lapse or of how I've put everything together just to show you guys how everything is put together because you will find a lot of other videos online uh, already from people doing this. I've started to give this a bit of my way by doing a full tutorial, um, full time lapse and it went in, I've built everything in three days. So um, I've did the hardware part, so I'll call it the hardware, so like the, the structure of the machine in the first day. And like here you can see I did a little mistake. I've like following the manual um, I've put it the uh, stop uh, the um, motion stop on the inside and it had to be on the outside but you can easily fix that after all so at this step I've started using my uh, my drill because I did everything by hand first but it took me a bit too much time and my hands started to hurt a bit um, so that's why I've used that. So this is a zip tie. I found it on the forum that it's better to use a zip tie just to hold everything together. So this is the the um, the uh, strap that will move the motors around, and it might have some uh, tensioning problems. But I have to say I've used the machine now for uh, around one month, and I have to say I never had problems with the electronics or the belt or uh, or something like that. So if you put good care in mounting everything as it should from the start you shouldn't get any problems with the machine at the end so this is the end of the first day so i was able to make a lot of progress during the first day assembling the machine so this is like the hardware part and that day at the end of the day it was kind of late uh, but I, it was like kind of fun because you go step by step and you see the progress after every step so that's kind of rewarding so now we'll start with the second day and the second day will be a bit more about the wiring and so on and I had to say I was very scared for this part because I have no background in electronics or something like that uh, so it can be a bit um, intimidating to, to do all the wiring and so on but if you follow everything step by step you shouldn't get any problems so this is all the um, wire management and then you just have to connect the wires um, along the good colors and everything should work, uh, work out well at the end. So I've decided to use some tape and so on just to put all the wires together, have some good cable management in case I would have some problems I would be able to find the problem quite quickly. So I worked in a quite organized way. Um, to prevent having problems at the end. So this is a silence panel I put in. Um, in future videos I will talk about a new panel that arrived. It's the Dewalt 611 but the Euro European version because uh, we are running on 230 volts here in, in Belgium. So I wasn't able to use the Dewalt 611 so there's an 
uh, adapted model for Europe. Um, I'll, I'll explain that in a future video why I've changed the spindle. It's mostly about lack of power and speed. Um, but if you want to be to get the updates and so on, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel and you should find the updates later on in some other tutorial videos using the X-Carve. So this is a part I thought I would go quite quickly through. Uh, this is a soldering. I didn't until now I didn't do any soldering yet. Uh, so I had a friend telling me the basics and I just went ahead and everything worked out quite well. Um, so this shouldn't be a problem uh, stopping you for buying for buying such machine. So this is all the electronics put together. This was a very exciting step because I had to say I was quite scared of having the entire thing blowing up in my face uh, due to all the cables and so on. But I was quite confident I did everything well. So I started the machine and everything just ran as it should. So um, this is the full, full machine um, assembled together. And then at the end I just did some updates I've read on the forum just to add some bolts um, on top of the other bolts just to make sure they will stay nicely together because they had um, loosening problems and that uh, gave some problems with the alignment of the machine and so on. So I've added uh, I think around 6 or 8 uh, bolts to the eccentric nuts. Uh, it's something very special i never seen before till I assembled, I assembled this machine. Um, but it enables you to uh, tighten the carves, uh, the wheels or not. So if you're interested in other videos you can check out the first video. It's about the first time using it. Then there's a first project. And then don't forget to follow me on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat.